Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Frostbite's gaming experience. So, if I'm ready, I can't. There's nothing in there that I need. I'm still looking for the audio box, the voice changer, but I can't remember exactly which room it's in. And I could have sworn it was this room for the longest time, but it turns out that's not the case. So I'm missing something. Where? Is my hall that leads to extra stuff? Oh, here we are. This is where it is. You're welcome. Alrighty, now we are officially a big daddy. Alarm expert two. Not really much else. Can I invent any more automatic hack tools? Does not look like it. Okay. Oh, that's right. I was like, why can't I go past this guy? Oh, yeah, because he's faking. I'm surprised not all of them came out and attacked me all at once like they're usually supposed to. Well, we'll find out, won't we? So through all that, we can now get ourselves a little sister and move on to the next area. Again, these areas are really big, and there's a lot to them if you're doing a full exploration but because we're not, we're just kind of just speed finishing up the game because we got everything we need in order to complete our wrench only run. Makes it look like there's not really as much. I already did. Now, we're going to try our best to be gentle, but there are some splicers that take advantage of their range a little too much in this next area. So, we need a little sister in order to open up every single doorway to move on in this next level. But whenever they see a corpse, a, speci a specified corpse, it, it's not any of the corpses that you kill off the splicers of, any of these particular laid out corpses, they will start to try and drain the atom of it because they're still genetically engineered to. You know, so even though they're free, their brain still has like that knee jerk reaction of, oh, a dead body, let me go collect some atom for it. And so, because of this, we gotta protect her because she's our means of actually getting through to the next areas. But, we are dealing with spider splicers and leatherhead splicers that can attack her from a range. They target her before they target you. Due to that, she does end up taking a lot of damage. And I would not be surprised if I actually end up losing uh, one little sister during this run. I always love this little scene. This poor big daddy. Trying to get away. Can't do it. Oh. Yes, 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 we're going. If I'm lucky, this will be the last part of our wrench only run. But I gotta get really lucky and hope that, you know, no little sisters die so I can just run right through. Or at, at the very least. Only losing one should make me lose too much time. Oh, if I hear a spider splicer rummaging around. There he is. Still can't... Oh, I can kind of hit him. Hey, 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 get out of my way. Now, there should be a camera I can get here. Come here. Hack it. Um, let's do a normal hack because I do want to save my money in case I do need it. Because there's a certain fight during all of this that is going to take a lot of my health away. Um, There we are. I still need one more though. There we go. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I gotta I got go back to doing normal hacks for a little bit. How does she lose any health anyways? That's unfortunate. 
Because having the cameras on our side for this does help a little bit. So yeah, she's got to go through and drain all the atom of this corpse. And because of this, so whenever a little sister starts gathering atom, like the scent, I guess, of the atom really draws the splicers to them because so they're so spliced up on it, they just know when there's atom about. And they want it. But again, they will go for the little girl before you. So you don't have to worry about your health, you gotta worry about her health. They don't really fight you all that much. They just want to run straight to her. And ones like these Leatherheads, we want to take care of ahead of time before they get onto a good angle. Thuggish, they can get right next to her, and it still takes them a while to wind up an attack, but the Leatherheads... God, this guy already took a lot of damage off of her. And it goes until you beat every single Splicer that you need to beat. Uh, please tell me that there's no... Tell me, like, no thuggish leatherhead can sneak up behind her. Okay, yeah, we're gonna lose this one. She took a lot more damage than I thought she would, unfortunately. Alright, I'm on my way. She won't move forward without you there, though, so if you kind of leave her, she will stop and wait. But even then, there's so much of a risk of the splicers being able to get to her and god boy she really did take a lot of damage there so I am gonna lose one unfortunately but we have all these oh boy okay I'll attack you there we are you into you Nice, we already got one that goes down with it. Um, let's have this. Here we are. And then I just need one more. Oh, wait, already got one. Good. Now, the turrets will still fight you. Even though you are a big daddy, they will still go out of their way to fight you. Why? I don't know. They just really dislike us, I guess. Oh, and I can actually get this guy on my side, too. Okay. This one's actually been very fair to us. We just need one more vertical piece, and we probably... Uh, as I say, we probably... There are some where you do have one less piece than what you need, and it is unfortunate whenever it happens. Um, you're the one that's slowing down, girl. Don't you... Don't you even with me. Alright, we can protect this one a little bit better. But chances are she's probably going down. Because again, they can attack... If they, especially if they're Leatherhead or a Spider, they can attack from a distance. Did I get her? I hope so. Okay, good. Gotta be careful of them leatherheads and spiders. Nope. Like, hit me, don't hit her. Ooh. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, she's done. Nice. Alright, that's really lucky for us. Let's see if any of them has a health pack or so. It doesn't look like it. That one actually allowed me to hack the turret. I could have sworn you had to electrocute him in order to hack him. Why did that one give me the option to hack it already? I wonder if I can actually... Yeah, it won't let me take a photo of this big daddy, unfortunately. Not until I'm actually, you know, fighting it. Because the one fight that you got to do before even going against Frank Fontaine is you got to do one more... Yeah, you can't hack these ones. Interesting. Oh, did she take damage from that? Ooh, that's unfortunate. There's another one that'll shoot, but luckily this giant dinosaur deal will actually keep us safe. Time to 
Is it gonna shoot her? Why would it shoot at her? Like, that's that doesn't make any sense to me. Unless Fontaine hacked the turrets to do that. Which is very possible. Well, I tried, okay? I just got really unlucky. I will. Can I not get one through here? Do I have to go back and get one? Oh, it hasn't been... That vent hasn't been activated by a little sister? Are you kidding me? Okay, that doesn't make any sense to me. But alright. I didn't know vents had to be activated. But alright. Now, well, luckily she wants to sprint. I like this one a lot more already. you to work for me just in case if there's any whoa okay I'm gonna need another there we are okay I thought I'd get really unlucky there for a second but we're actually kind of okay in fact we're actually more than okay right now um I need oh here we are good okay Thanks for all the free health you're gonna be giving me. I'll say I know the spider splicer's still alive. Oh, she's going to the first aid station first, that's fine. Well, I'd be more than happy to hurry. I need you two as well though. Alright, well she ran away. could use another robot on my side. Alright, let's see here. Okay, we can do this. Oops. Hopefully we have enough verticals to do it. If not, there's like another way that I could do it. But it looks like it's giving us enough. In fact, it is. Good. Awesome. Okay. Got another bot. Oh, let me hack this. Since it'll actually let me hack them, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. I mean, I just... I just know that so many of them wouldn't even let me attempt to hack it without actually... Electrocuting it first. So, I mean, I'll, I'll take any victory that I can get. Anything to help save the little sisters more. Oh, she already took a bit of damage there while I was hacking. So there's someone... So there's someone there already. Oh, boy. This is going to be a, a bad one. Let's see if I can do it, though. Oh, I doubt it. Not like this. Oh, yeah. I can't do it, period. Good. Good. I, I love ones that are impossible. Those are my... Oh, wow. Already, huh? Nope, can't switch that out now. Yep, I might as well just give up on that. Oh my god, this is really unlucky. See, as long as you don't block out the main one, fine. There we are. Okay, it took me a no numerous amount of times, but we're good. Alright, where's, where's my little sister? Wait, where is she? Like, legit. Oh, there she is. She's actually quite safe. Surprisingly. Alrighty. We got... Oh, well, I lost my turret. Jesus, you... You bots are reckless. My god. Alrighty. Why does she walk all the way around. Oh, well. What can you do? Don't worry. I'll protect this one. I hope. 
But we will have some leather heads that'll appear like up here. Luckily, he's a thuggish. Nope, I will not let you shoot her from a distance. That is cheating. Getting really lucky, actually. Wait, are the two... Are my two bots shooting each other? Oh, is she done? Huh? Wait, where is she? Oh. Too close. Almost lost her. Again, the spider splicers and the leatherheads are your biggest enemies when protecting the little ones because they can just attack from a distance. At least with the thuggish, they have to actually get to her first. Well, you tell me there's no time to waste. And you're the one taking your sweet time. Alright. I wonder if I can get my last bit. Nope, there's no way. No way I can get my last bit of uh, damage on this guy. So here we go. But we've also got little bots to help us fighting the final bouncer. We have to beat this one. But we've got a lot of defenses on our side. And we've got... Okay. Oh, he's slow. I was like, why am I walking so slow? So we have enough defenses that we can take actually a couple licks from him and heal it all back. But once we get low, once we get a little too low, I'm going to take a first aid. No really big strategy, just smash away. And you'll have enough health in order to survive. Because of our 25% increase of taking damage reduction. Got him. Alrighty. And we'll be coming up on... Better for the girl to be with you. Better with you than alone. Alone in the crawling darkness. And I don't think there's any first aid in here. Yep, there's one. Don't, be a slow poke, Mr. B. don't you tell me what I can and can't do. Yeah, well, you know what? You almost died like that other one, but I did a pretty good job, so fuck you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um... This next Circus of Value will be able to spend the rest of our money and get ourselves up to a full health. I think there's still one more uh, Gatherers of Gardens that we can utilize. And we might be able to get an Armor Level 2 out of it. Alrighty, I don't even really care about hacking it because we got more than enough money. Alright, any last thing? One more health upgrade. Alright, so she's going to crawl in and then she's going to give us one of her little atom suckers because that's what we need because as we just heard, Frank Fontaine is going to be splicing like no one's business. And when we see him, you'll see that he basically turns into one giant just one giant atom in a sense. You know, he, he, he becomes pure atom because he splices so much of it. So because of that, we can just drain him because essentially Adam becomes his new blood. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. That's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. Alrighty. Fontaine time. Let's see how this goes. Full health. Good amount of health, too. Very powerful weapon. Let's see what we can get. Now, this atom you get, you can't utilize, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, wow. I don't really take much damage from him. Yeah, no, I can pretty much life drink 
all of the health back from this guy. Uh, even on one of his hits, the, the big daddies are stronger than him. Yeah, as you can see, he's just one giant, you know... Like, right now he's like a fire elemental in a way. He's actually not even hitting me if I just strafe him well enough. Nice. Okay, this is going to be even easier than I thought it would be. Enough hits. And we'll drain the next set. Alright. I think he brings out security bots this time. But, luckily... We can just turn it off. Alright, come now. Yeah, we're still getting the support of the little sisters in the distance. You know, they're in those little holes there. The little vaults. Wow, this is actually, this is easier than the Big Daddies. Big Daddies are confirmed the hardest thing in the entire game. I thought this would be a little bit more of a challenge, but because a lot of his attacks can easily be sidestepped, it looks like, just by circling him a lot. It, yeah. And even when he does get a hit, your life drinker, along with two sports boost, is more than enough. All right, but now we got a bunch of splicers coming in, too. Ow. I could actually... Hang on. Let's do this. Let's have more fun. $16 buyout. Get ourselves a free little turret. Yeah, these splicers, the amount of them is probably going to be an issue. So I got to just make sure I'm good. Is that what they've been saying this whole time? Unzip them? Huh. I never knew what it was the little sisters were saying when they said that. But yeah, so they're saying unzip them. That's not very nice. Alright, I think his last one. And there we go. Woo! Wrench only run done. Let's go. Alrighty. That was fun, actually. I didn't know if I could actually get through with it, but after taking advantage of the Vita Chambers and being able to freely you know, get yourself back to full life. Well, not full half-life, but the fact that you can... Because it's not survival mode, wasn't nearly as hard. I'm wondering how hard it is in survival mode. I doubt I could do it. I don't think I'm skilled enough. Because that would essentially mean you could never really fight the big daddies, because there's such an... I have to look, see if there's, like, any kind of strategy to never get hit by the big daddies, but I think that's impossible. So that means that the only atom you would ever have is the very beginning from that first little sister, meaning you would have to harvest her and get two health upgrades off of that, and you have to have just the two best physical and combat gene tonics to utilize. God, would that even be possible? I mean, based on what I've seen going against Frank Fontaine, like, the final boss is easy, but that one Big Daddy beforehand? I don't think so. I don't know. I'll have to look into it one day, see if I can do a survival mode wrench only run. Survival mode be means that you just can't use the Vita Chambers at all. Which would make the wrench only run really difficult. Because I think then you have to rely on your checkpoints and saves. Because when you die, you just go back to a checkpoint rather than reviving at a Vita Chamber. So fighting the big daddies is unheard of. Like, I, I, I cannot imagine how that would work. There's probably a strategy I can find online on how to deal with the Big Daddy without taking any damage. I know there was that one desk area that if I got lucky, he would hit the crate instead of hitting me. Let's go ahead and show off the credits here. But aside from that, I don't know of any real strategy to take care of the Big Daddies without taking any damage. But yeah, that was the wrench only run. Um... Harder than I thought it would be in the beginning, and then easier than I thought it would be towards the end. Um, and again, it makes me just kind of want to try it in a survival difficulty where you can't utilize the Vita Chambers, but I'm about to really look into that one. But that's one I'm definitely going to save for another time. I just kind of want another reason to play Bioshock. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely top five. Um... Because I've, I've said it many times, but this was one of the games that got me back into gaming when I started to 
not really enjoy gaming as much as I used to uh, back in high school. This, along with Mass Effect, were the two games that brought the fun of the new generation gaming into me, you know? And so, you know, that's, that's why I like it so much. That's why I consider it one of my top five favorites. Not only do I think it's that good of a game, but it was one of the games that brought gaming back for me. You know, it, it made it fun for me again back during a time when it wasn't anymore. But, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll be very curious to see how tough this would be in a survival only run, but even more so, I'm even more curious on to what my next challenge run is going to be, you know, do the fact that I only upload these, um, a half hour episode every single week. I've got a couple months now to try and figure out what it is that I want to challenge run next. I've already done Super Metroid and a 25% completion run. I did Metroid 1%. I just finished doing a Bioshock wrench only. So what do I think I should go ahead and try and do next? I don't know. I'm going to have to think on that one. I don't have an exact what we're going to be coming back next to because I don't even have an idea. You know, there's a whole bunch of them out there that are that I'm curious on doing. Um, there are the Mario games where you do a no, no coin challenge. You go as far as you can without collecting a single coin. Um... There's obviously the Nuzlocke challenges. Again, those would be ones that I would much rather do live on Twitch. But I need more free time in order to do something like that. So, you know, that one won't be for a while. A any one of the Pokemon games more than likely would be a Gen 3 uh, Nuzlocke challenge. There was also the Nuzlocke randomizer challenge that I was planning on doing. I'm not exactly sure. I could potentially try a Zelda like limited amount of hearts challenge potentially like Zelda link to the past maybe three heart only challenge if that's even possible I'm not exactly sure um aside from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask I haven't really played a whole lot of Zelda games you know um I play I dab into link to the past every now and then but I can never like finish it because it just kind of gets a little bit dull to me after a while I don't know if I've ever said that on the channel, but no, it is true. I've never really fully gotten in, invested into A Link to the Past. So I don't know if I'd be willing to do a challenge run on a game that I haven't even beaten normally yet. So, I don't know. I'm going to I'm have to think. I'm going to have to look through the internet, see what some fun challenges are. Um, and just, I don't know, see what we can come up with. Um, that's really about it. Again, relatively difficult in the beginning. Easier to do later on. Um, majority of my deaths were mostly because of the big daddies. Um, sometimes even accidentally by accidentally hitting them without realizing it. Um, but yeah, I figured that once I got the right tonics, this wouldn't be too hard of a run because at one point the wrench does become the most powerful weapon in the entire game. The only thing that the other weapons have over it is that you can just attack enemies from a distance without having to get right in their face. But even then with the life drinker ability, getting right in front of an enemy's face and being able to suck all the life out of them and heal yourself up isn't really even all that difficult. So, you know, no, no real, no real big hardships with this one. Again, I'll have to look at the survival mode and see how much tougher that makes it. But anyways, with that said, I'm just going to call it right there. We'll let the credits continue on through, but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evenings and we'll catch you all on the next challenge game, whatever that may be. Enjoy.